many, many miles east of nowhere lies the amazing land of Oz, a magnificent empire created in the mind of a man who wrote a great book about it. Like wildfire in the wheat field, the fabulous tale of the Wizard of Oz spread from town to city to nation to the entire world. Although the Wizard of Oz has captivated the children of four generations and fired the imaginations of those youthful adults who have never grown old, although 10 million copies of the book have reached eager hands and eager hearts, no one has dared the towering task of giving life and reality to the land of Oz and its people. Every delightful character of L. Frank Baum's classic is now reborn. Every glorious adventure has been recaptured and painted with a rainbow. The celebration in Munchkinland, the flying monkeys, the rescue of Dorothy, the castle of the witch, the palace of Oz, and Dorothy's strange journey to the Emerald City to find the wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. We're off to see the wizard. There was me, that is Alex, and my three droogs, that is Pete, Georgie, and Dim. And we sat in the Corova milk bar, trying to make up our razoo docs what to do with the evening. The Corova milk bar sold milk plus, which is what we were drinking. This would sharpen you up and make you ready for a bit of the old ultraviolence. little droogies. <laughs> the evening's the great time, isn't it, Alex Bond? He's enterprising, aggressive, young, bold, <laughs> vicious. He'll do. Who on earth could that be? Now it was lovely music that came to my aid. A bit of the old Ludwig van. Featuring a new documentary with Malcolm McDowell. Stanley actually assures me we'll stick the lid locks in and in 10 minutes we'll do the shot. 10 minutes for a Stanley Kubrick shot? I don't think so. Stop it, stop it, please, I beg you! Food, all right. Great stuff, great. Try the wine. Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, not at all. I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. How do you mean? Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. I never gave these stories much credence, but particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye.
won the Pulitzer Prize, the Critics' Award, the most revealing play ever written. New York, London, Paris, Brussels, Rome, all cheered it. It's an even greater motion picture. <laughs> A woman, Blanche Dubois, who wanted so much to stay a lady. A vivid, vibrant, exciting story, because every searching chapter was written by men. Men who taught her to trust and to hope, to love and to hate. The youth who brought remembrance of yesterday. The man who was willing to take her out of the dark alleys of New Orleans. The brute who lied and cheated, who promised everything, gave nothing. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Disgusting, balder, greasy. But who do you think you are, a couple of queens or something? Could it be you and me, Blanche? Yeah, what does it cost for singing plays like that? Why, well, these are a tribute from an admirer of mine. Well, he must have had a lot of admiration. You lies! Lies inside and out! All lies! Never inside! I never lied in my heart! <laughs> It's the decade's most daring novel. Such startling characters. Such untamed emotions. Now it's the Frankenstein.